some of the other things um, some of the other things that you can do in Genome Studio is you can work with samples and also work with SNPs individually. So if you go down to the to the sample area, and I will just you see a whole bunch of columns across the top. And one of the columns that's really important is the call rate. So for Ohio, 987034, 96 of the 96 SNPs were called, 100% call rate. 97 and so on. So I don't want to look at every one. This has some nice uh, tools in Genome Studio that you can look at and say, I want to sort from top to bottom, or actually I'll sort it from the other way, based on call rate. And then I see a couple, you know, a couple highlights. I've got this sample here, which actually some sure zero, zeroed out. The call rate is zero because it really, it was a sample that failed, the DNA was bad, or something like that. So you say, I don't want to see that. And, and you can zero those out by just right-clicking on the sample and, um, actually, right-clicking on a sample, and you can say, exclude selected sample from the data set. So I click on that, the data set's excluded, and then you can re-include that sample if you like. From that. So you can choose the bad samples from the good samples before you export your data. The other one that really is interesting is um, LA716. You guys know that as Penelii. Um, LA407, that's Habacates Pursuitum. So these are wild types. And what we're seeing in wild types, and my guess is, yeah, here's 716. With the wild types, there's likely unknown SNPs, SNPs that we have not detected in our sequence elite lines that are there that are affecting our assay. Okay, so our primer, which is 50 base pairs, um, there might be a SNP in LA716 there that we, that's causing a shift in the assay. And that's actually what we're seeing. If I'm just going to flip through some of the SNPs, uh, these black guys, there's 716. It's a no call. Basically, the assay failed. And so although the data is, if you've called these clusters right, this is okay. I'm still going to export the data from 716 because I'm going to, it's not that the DNA was bad. It's just that the, the genome is so, the variety, the, uh, species is so far off that it's just not amenable to the assay I designed it for. So I'm going to give the opposite example. Had we designed SNPs around Penelii, most of the data would be blocked in our lead germplasm. So again, so that's why it's important. Make sure, you know, the SNPs you're looking at are from a lead germplasm if you're going to look at lead germplasm and so on. And then it's not, I mean, this guy, again, this is 716 or 407. Here's a PI. Same thing, these kind of broader guys. And basically, the ones that are off tend to be the tier 716 again. You know, so, so in this case, this counts as a call. As long as it's in the red or the purple and so on, it's going to be called and exported unless you've excluded that sample. One of the things you can do with the samples, you can highlight a set of samples and you right click and you can say configure marks. This is a really nice tool if you want to look at a subset of samples. And so I'm going to add it, and I'm going to call it wild types, or just wild. And I say, I'm going to highlight all my wild germplasm as, and it gives you a set of colors that you like, um, orangey red. Eh, that's probably not a good one. It's not going to have good contrast. Um, you'd be surprised with contrast here. Let's go green. Lime green. And I click that, click out of it, and I do that. There's my sample, my wild type samples. So that could be a control. It could be your mapping parents. And that's, so that's a nice way of saying, okay, that's where my mapping parents are. That's where my wild types are. <clears throat> and so that's a way to highlight, highlight different things. The, I'm just going to quickly scroll through the other. So the gender column, this is something they put in for human, obviously. What you're seeing, these P numbers are really the, the, um, the P50 is like the, meet, the, the 50th percentile for the green um, fluorescence in a sense. So, actually, I don't find these that well. So, so basically, this is the hybridization, or not hybridization, the intensity of 50% of this, where 50% of the samples are for green, or 95%. So these are really intensities. They're not that useful. I don't think directly. 
But when you get over here, there's some nice things that are useful. Um, the genotype, that's always good, but, but that's more important. And GC stands for Gen, Gen Train Score. It's Gen Train is just a, a name uh, Genome Studio or Illumina is given to. It's basically, it's a value that they calculate. Um, it really represents the percent of SNPs that are actually called. You know? It's directly related to the amount of, uh, it's basically a combination of how, how good the call is, the intensity, and um, what percentage of, a sample, of SNPs are all called for that sample. So if you highlight that, you can look, you can do a quick bar graph. Actually, that's, I'm going to go back to the bar graph that I really want to do. If I do a bar graph on call rate, highlight that, quick bar graph. What happened to that? So I need to put in the call rate. Let's see, data. What did I do different here? No, highlight two. And there, highlight both of them. Histogram plot. There we go. So this is the this is a frequency table of my histogram plot. This is going to be probably LA 716 and 407 on that. So the vast majority of my samples are in this 90% plus call rate on that. And so this is a nice way of just quickly looking at my data. Is my data good or is it bad? You know, and it's going to highlight some samples that are going to fall out for you. So it's more of a visual way of doing that. What you can do also is you see this, you see basically these columns. If you hit the column chooser, you get you get this window display, and you can hide, you can decide which win, which columns to hide, which columns to show in that display, just to make it a little more palatable. So gender is not that useful. You know, I didn't think the P zero, the P greens and reds were that useful. So I can just go down, hide that. So again, you're just selecting what columns you really want to show. You hit OK. So now I can start. I just see what I really want, and so. So on. So that, and so on. The other thing I did show you already is that I can sh I can sort by the different columns. I just highlight the column. I can sort higher low. Um, the index is the order of the samples and really the way they went into the into the genotype. Um, this will be column A one. I mean sample A one, A two, and so on. And that. So that so you can highlight samples 